Hey everybody, Rob Vino, wagertalk.com here again with a free selection and analysis. We're going to go NFL style today. The Indianapolis Colts at Tennessee AFC South Divisional Contest. I think we got an angle here. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and talk about this week's Wager Talk special for all selection packages. You guys can pick up a one month all access package. It includes every sport, every play that I release for an entire month. If you purchase that package, you'll get another 30 days and those 30 days will be reduced. will reduce the entire two month package to just 663 a day. So great bargain here, guys. Once again, it's every single play released, every single sport. And we know the NBA and college basketball are going to get busy here as well. They'll be included. 5% blue chip plays are included. So once again, every sport for 60 days. Um, college Hoop starts November the 4th. Get the whole 60 days for just $3.98. Join in now. The one-month all-access pass and add a month special for just over $3 a day. Let's hit this AFC South matchup here. Indianapolis at Tennessee. Switch of favorites. Opened up Colts minus 1.5, total 41.5. We're now looking at Tennessee minus 2.5. Four-point move in the number, total up to 43. As I said off the top, divisional game, and we know that in the three-step ladder of importance in the NFL, divisional are the most important, followed by non-divisional, and then, of course, non-conference. Um, from a focus and motivation side, they both will be ready to play here, obviously, because it's a divisional game. The desperation sits squarely in the indie corner. They're 0-2 inside the division already. Tennessee comes off a bye week, an extra week to prepare here. They haven't played a divisional game yet, so big for them. But the Colts to go to 0-3, that would hurt. The starting quarterback position for Indy, whether it be Anthony Richardson or Joe Flacco, I think it's going to be Richardson, but we don't firmly know that as of yet. Forces the Titans kind of to prepare for both styles, right? The style of Anthony Richardson, the style of Joe Flacco. To the Colts, I don't think it matters. They move the ball with either of those two QBs. Um, the prep advantage for Indianapolis, not necessarily in tow here, even though you have this little Will Levis, Mason Rudolph controversy, Will Levis is healthy. He's going to play. You would hope if you're Tennessee, that Will Levis with an extra week could have got with the coaches, could get away from these turnover prone mistakes that he's had all season long. This is a defense that's very vulnerable and very susceptible to big yardage games. The Colts rank 32nd in total yards allowed per game. Good spot here for Tennessee to go ahead and pick up their offensive output, which has been minimal at best, and it's not due to lack of weaponry. It's just due to lack of pass protection and lack of, you know, I, hate, I hate to say lack of intelligence, but some boneheaded mistakes by Will Levis so far. So yeah, Tennessee has an opportunity here. And it's especially disturbing for the indie defensive side that the last two games, they've allowed 61 combined points to the offenses of Pittsburgh and Jacksonville. Both of those are lifeless offenses. They brought Jacksonville's to life. Pittsburgh's is still kind of dormant. So you're giving up those types of points and those types of yards to those offenses. Tennessee has their shot here. The dilemma in this game becomes really simple. Which of these two miserable units do you want? Do you think that the Colts' defense um, will see the perfect elixir in the Titan offense? Or do you think vice versa, that the Titans' offense can capitalize on the Colts' defense? And if you break it down even further, the Indianapolis pass rush. I mean, 34 pass attempts by Trevor Lawrence last week. Indy gets one hurry. And, of course, the Titans have the second-worst pass protection unit in the league. So neither is very good. I think the needle mover in this game is going to be the injury situation at the skill positions for the Colts. You're talking about two wide receivers that start that likely won't play here. We know Michael Pittman's out. Josh Downs hasn't practiced. Looks like he'll be out. And they still haven't established the fact that Jonathan Taylor, their top running back, will play. So I think you have two flawed sides here um, in a battle of weaknesses. I think the team with the rest and the better health, which is the Titans, probably the right side here. So I'm going to slightly play that way. Tennessee minus two and a half at home in an important divisional game. On the way out here, guys, just like to 
have everybody hit the like button. If you like the uh, analysis, the commentary, the selections that we're providing here, go ahead and hit the like button. Let us know what your thoughts are on this Tennessee indie game or any other NFL game this weekend. I try to get to the comment section as quickly as I can and answer everybody. So drop us a comment, click subscribe, join the 177,000 people that already have done so to wager talk TV for this weekend. Wish everybody good luck with their plays, and we'll see you soon with my next free selection and analysis on Wager Talk TV.